Hi, I'd like to go through some of my Klaus scenes to explain a little bit more of the process behind them. First of all, I started with this uh, storyboard, which is pretty clear. Here. No. And here. Clockwork. With all the gears and the cogs for you to tinker with all day. Stop. As you can see, I used this pose here and this pose here pretty much as they are in the storyboard. I changed the last one because I tried to find something that was uh, more effective. Well, important things about a scene like this is that even if you use the post-to-post -post process, so you basically go from one key drawing to the other key drawing to the other key drawing, is that when you stop on a key drawing, it is important that you don't do it with all the parts of the character stopping at the same time. So, for example, I made the head and body stop first, and then the this hand stop later, and then the uniform stop even later, and the hair also, and the sleeve. So you have to find different parts that have their own landing point in time. Not much when the character is going really from pose to pose in a dynamic way, but really uh, when it's coming to a full stop. Something about smear, um, it's you can do it two ways basically, either dragging the element as much as you want, like stretching it, or you can do a double drawing, that is up to you, uh, that would have worked anyway, more or less in the same way, like I used the double drawing here, for example, when Jesper enters the, the stage, I could have drawn a big stretched Jesper like this, probably would have worked the same, but the important thing about smear effect is that whenever you do a drawing like this, uh, it's important that you don't make it last more than one frame. Because basically the idea here is that the character is faster than the camera shutter. Okay? I'm not saying that you cannot do more than one beside the other. You, you can, as long as this one lasts one frame, one frame, one frame. Okay, that's the kind of uh, implicit rule. And then, let me talk a little bit about this uh, double anticipation here and how I get into the final pose here. Uh, when I was working on this process, I animated the head and the body first. So I in between head and body without hands and arms. And once I was happy with that movement, then on a separate pass, I animated each hand on its own layer. You can even do it on the same layer as long as you treat it separately because you need to feel the motion of each part. I strongly recommend you to be very, very simple in drawing these shapes. You can even draw just circles just to find the right spacing and timing and then once you know where the hand is you can draw a hand on top of your circles. You know, you can go pretty rough with it. but it's important to find the placement in space and so you can even do it with dots, you know. Anything that makes you focus on the motion rather than on any other detail. <laughs> 